Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome to another week in my life in New York City. It's Monday morning. Just had my morning routine, made coffee, was reading, and I ran downstairs to put in a load of laundry. So I'm kind of starting off getting some stuff done. I don't really know what this week has in store. <laughs> I am just kind of gonna bring you along the journey and see what we get up to, but I don't have that many solid plans. So I'm gonna make a to-do list and kind of like map out what I wanna get done this week, rainy morning. And yeah, just kind of like doing some apartment errands and getting things done here. So nothing thrilling to vlog, but you know, hopefully we do something that's vlog worthy this week. <laughs> good filming spot because the camera's like between a shelf and the light anyway it's later in the day now we're already losing daylight because there's no sun in new york anymore it has not existed for weeks it's been so great it sounded so depressing one of the reasons of the january blues is there's just not sunlight when we went to north carolina last weekend when we landed we got our car we were listening to music and we were just like thriving and we were like why are we so excited right now like obviously we were surprising our friend and you know on an adventure but we realized that it, it was sunny there and we had not been in sunlight in just so long anyway it just sounds dramatic i'm really feeling that energy today and i honestly feel like i've avoided the january blues pretty decently for the past 23 days of january that it's been um and i've been in really good, like good spirits feeling motivated feeling excited about the new year all that stuff and i haven't been hit with the january blues as hard um but i don't know maybe it's just like my energy level slightly off today but i'm like kind of feeling that energy so i want to get myself out of that and i wanted to go for a walk because i went to the gym last night and did like an actual weights workout and i was like i don't really need to work out again today i just kind of want to walk but it's raining and then i was like you know they have these things called treadmills that move that you can walk on without being outside so i think i'm just gonna walk on the treadmill maybe i'll end up doing more of a workout after that even though it's not really in the plan but i feel like it's always you know the first step is just getting in the gym once you're actually there then it's much easier to actually kind of like maybe go into the weights if you feel like it or doing something else i put on some workout clothes these are like the patterned pants from story i have a matching bra on under this but then just like a fabletics black shirt um but yeah i'm just gonna go start walking and then we'll see if i do anything else but even if i just walk and listen to a podcast or music um that's good enough for me so that's all we're doing and i don't feel like washing my hair again because i just washed it last night but then i was thinking again i was like i don't have plans tonight or tomorrow that i need to have clean hair for so why am i like making up all these rules for myself that don't really matter just have like a very low energy day where i feel less motivated get myself out of that so i think a good way to do that is like enforcing your healthy habits like going for a walk or exercise i don't know that just always makes me feel better or listening to music or a podcast or just something that, or reading too. Just getting out of your own head in general. Dropped a pumpkin. I need to, I still have these like randomly sitting out in my apartment that I need to put away. I think the focus of my week this week is just enforcing my healthy habits that I want to keep up. My other healthy habit that I want to do, my other healthy habit that I want to do is greens powder. This is the bloom one. I have it in coconut and it tastes pretty good. And then I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill and listen to a podcast because I wanted to listen to one, but I was like, do I just wanna sit in my apartment and listen? Or I could like do some sort of activity that doesn't need focus. I had a second coffee today and it really did nothing for me. So I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try and go to sleep early tonight. Don't want the powder to settle, so I'm just gonna chug it. Cheers. Also, when I was in North Carolina, not only did we have an evening but when we were just like watching old Vine compilations and being nostalgic, but we also were watching old commercial compilations that we grew up with. It, it is just crazy. If you go back and watch some of those, like how ingrained they are in our brains. Like we had all of these things memorized that we didn't even remember knowing, but they're just like, we watch them over and over as kids and it's just like crazy. <laughs> Branding is powerful. What is the one commercial from your youth that you'll never be able to get out of your head? Like it lives there rent free. Mine is probably, get connected for free 
with education connection. Like that's probably a good one, you know, education connection. Also something I was gonna mention with this whole trying to get myself moving when I'm feeling low energy. The most important thing you can do is just taking like one step towards something you wanna get done. If that is you wanna work out, just tell yourself and don't think about the end goal. Just say, okay, well, I'll just put on workout clothes and then if I still don't feel like going, you know, whatever. But if you do that one thing, if you put the workout clothes on, chances are you're gonna be like, well, I'm already in the clothes, I might as well just go. Or like, for example, what I'm saying, I might not do a full workout, but I'm like, well, I might as well just like go walk in the treadmill for 10 minutes. And then once you're already going, it's so much easier. So just start with like one little domino without putting pressure on yourself to like make the whole strip of dominoes fall down. And they'll probably, you'll get some momentum and they'll naturally on their own just kind of get there. <laughs> Finally a sunny day. I think I was just kind of complaining yesterday that we haven't seen the sun in New York in so long and My prayers were answered because we have sunshine. It's cold outside. It's like maybe 40. So not too bad It was cold when I woke up um, But I just really want to take advantage of it and get out of my apartment at least I feel such a shift in my energy even from yesterday to today from having a rainy day to a clear sunny day so I was thinking about where I wanted to go and what I would do with my time on this sunny day. I randomly remembered this place that I thought I had bookmarked. It was one of those like opening in New York this weekend things that you see on Instagram that you look at and bookmark and send to a friend and then forget about sometimes. And I couldn't find it for the life of me. I was just like Googling keywords. I was like, did I make this up? Because I could have sworn that I saw this thing about a, you know, brand new green space, like indoor, outdoor garden, public area in Midtown opening not too long ago in recent months. And I didn't have it bookmarked on Google Maps. But finally, after Googling random keywords that were related, I found the article and it does exist <laughs> and it's in just like an office building it's in a random spot too it's like a little bit north of where i would work in midtown so i don't really like go up there that often i think it's on 56 or something like that um it's not too far out of the way but it's just not in my normal path and i forgot about it and it is cold today so i'm pretty sure this thing is like open air so it wouldn't be necessarily warm or enclosed but it's covered so i'm not entirely sure from looking at the photos just how enclosed or exposed it is 550 madison is the address if you're interested in checking it out but i'm gonna check it out for you so you don't have to and i'll let you know if it's worth going it's definitely more of a spring summer place i think because it's designed to like sit outside um but i wanted to get outside today and I was thinking about maybe I should just like go for a walk in Central Park, but then I was like, I don't even know if I want to be that cold. And this place, if it's too cold, there's a coffee shop right there. I can just sit there or go work somewhere else. So I'm gonna bring my laptop. I have workout clothes on because I booked a rumble class for later this evening. And I haven't been to rumble in a couple weeks, so that'll be good. And every single time I go to rumble, it seems like it's right after I have a leg day so my legs are sore but luckily this one I did arms the other day so my legs are fine and the class is I think it's an ass and abs burnout or something like that and usually rumble doesn't have those kind of theme days at least the ones I go to um, so I'm excited it's Tuesday we're gonna enjoy the sunshine explore a new place in Manhattan and get a little bit of work done on my computer. God, this is even worse than I thought. Now looking at the mirror, because these have these like weird mesh things on them. Well, they're not weird, but it's not like, it's obviously workout clothes when I, yeah. And this Fabletics, I think these are both Fabletics, and then this coat is a newly rental. <laughs>
definitely like outside. <laughs> There's the sky. It's covered, but it's just so high up. Like I understand now that it's just like an outdoor space. So I was maybe a little um, mistaken. But it is so cool and I definitely think this would be a great spot for like spring and summer when it's warmer. I think I was misled because on I found like a map of it online when I looked it up and it literally said like this room, that room, and it's literally just like little inlets where you have seating. It's what they call a room. Um, so that made me think it might be enclosed, but it's not, it's open air. But it's so nice and a great little like work spot if it's nice out and you want to work outside, like have some shade. Very cute, 550 Madison. Um, there is a Black Fox Coffee over there that has like a window that goes out here and then there's like a food place too. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna sit here and do work because it's cold. So I might venture to a coffee shop that has seating inside, but I'm glad I came and saw this and I'll definitely come back <laughs> when it's nice around. <laughs> I'm back now from my random adventure to Midtown. I just wanted to go and be in the city on a sunny day and it was lovely. I was listening to like feel good music, just walking through the streets. It's crazy how much the weather affects your mood, especially when you live somewhere that has different seasons. And I know that New York is not the most extreme of them by any means. When you haven't seen the sun in a while and you come, it comes back for a day, it's a like wake up call of Wow, I forgot how good this feels. I went to Blue Bottle after that little outdoor space. So yeah, basically what I was saying in that clip, I think I explained it, but um, I wasn't sure how open air it was gonna be, but it was like pretty much all outside. There was just like covering that was pretty high up. So it's not warmer or anything than it is outside. It's just quiet and I don't know how busy it'll be when it's actually warm, but it was empty then. So I went to Blue Bottle. That Blue Bottle I went to was so insanely packed the entire time. I was like, what is going on? I think it was just like attached to an office building. And I was there for a couple hours on my laptop and reading and um, it just never, there was never a lull. And then I walked through Rockefeller and took the train back. I had a little snack and I'm gonna go to my rumble class. So I'm leaving a little bit early because I want to stop by. They just opened a Primark in downtown Brooklyn at City Point which is on my way to Rumble. So I'm like, I might as well just like stop in and take a look. I haven't been to Primark since I was in England years ago. They do have Primarks in the US. There's one that's not even that far at the American Dream Mall. We didn't go when we went, but um, it's the first one in New York City, I think. So I'm just gonna stop by. I don't need anything. I am trying to spend less money in January, I've mentioned. So I probably won't buy anything unless something like really calls my name. This is what I'm wearing to rumble. I usually wear a tank top and honestly, I'll probably get a little overheated in this, but it was so cold when I was walking earlier um, after I came back that I was like, yo, I just want to be warm. So um, yeah, and then I'm bringing my wraps for boxing. That's pretty much my plan for the evening. I'll come back and make dinner and trying to get to bed early. I've been pretty good about my sleep schedule recently, which I'm proud of. And I wanna finish my fiction book tonight. I've been reading it for a bit because it took me a while to like care that much about the plot. Um, it's called 20 Years Later by Charlie something. And now I'm almost at the end of it. So I'll probably come home, eat dinner, finish my book and go to sleep early. Sounds like a lovely Tuesday night. Let's go. I don't remember it like giving Forever 21 discount, but I was also much younger when I came here before, so we'll see. I have some time, so I'm just gonna walk through. Face is back. 
Shack, meaning it was a good workout. Also, there's red lights. Okay, it's not that small, but less. I finally have the last of my Mediterranean bowls leftovers, um, which I'm kind of sick of at this point. I did freeze half of it, like the chicken, so it's still more fresh. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go grocery shopping probably tomorrow. I'm watching the season two premiere of How I Met Your Father. I definitely last year when this came out, I had never watched How I Met Your Mother. And so I watched this with someone else and I was like, oh, this is kind of cute, like cheesy, but whatever. And he was like, oh no, like this is nowhere near as good as How I Met Your Mother. And I was like, okay, sure. So we started watching that. And I do agree that How I Met Your Mother is a lot better, but it's just kind of like a different vibe, honestly. And I love Hilary Duff. And yes, it's a cheesy sitcom, but I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> Does anyone else find that Hulu, the volume is so much lower than other apps? Maybe it's just my TV. I think I found the man that I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with. I'm moving to Australia. Same. We're back in this little corner. Happy Wednesday. It is hump day, getting through the week. My rumble class last night was so good. My legs are feeling a little bit sore this morning, but not too bad. But I do want to like get some movement in, so I'm gonna go walk. And it's gonna rain in a couple hours, so I wanna get that done in the morning. So I'm gonna take this opportunity, go for a quick morning walk, end up at Trader Joe's, and get some groceries. I know it's halfway through the week, um, but I ran out of leftovers, so I'm gonna get some stuff. I'm gonna make salmon tonight. I haven't had salmon in a bit, and it sounded good. The sun is gone again, it's cloudy, and it's gonna rain today, but um, I really did soak it up yesterday, <laughs> so I'm trying to ride that high. I'm gonna put on this gospel coat. Let's go. Guys, look! It was supposed to be raining, but it looks like rain snow. It looks like very, very wet snow. Okay, well now it looks more like rain because it's getting heavier, but I swear 30 seconds ago it looked more like snow. Exciting, the first time I've seen snow in New York this year. Okay, now we're talking. This is snow snow. Oh, this is so exciting. I love the snow. Okay, I'm already like flopping with this dinner right now. I'm making this salmon dish. I just put the salmon in the oven. Basically, I didn't realize that I needed cornstarch to thicken the sauce. I'm doing like a honey garlic salmon. So the recipe's on a couplecooks.com slash honey dash garlic dash salmon. And basically it was with rice vinegar, soy sauce, which I use coconut aminos, honey, um, olive oil, garlic powder, minced garlic, cornstarch, which I don't have. So the sauce was a little thin. Um, and then I seared the salmon, except I didn't realize that it was intended to be like in the oven searing it. So I just still on stove top. So I think I might have cooked a little much. Um, and now it's in the oven right now, baking the rest of the way. So this may or may not be a flop. And then I'm making a little bell pepper, uh, corn salad on the side. I'm putting some shallots in it. Just topped it with bell pepper. And I'm gonna get avocado. I also forgot to buy a lime, which is pretty crucial to this. I don't know, I might put lemon juice on it instead. Is that weird? Why would I scrape my pan with a knife? I'm clearly not meant to be in the kitchen today, but here we are. Some lemon juice. I should keep some lime juice in the fridge for things like this. Oh God, I hope this doesn't ruin it. Chili lime seasoning. I just posted a TikTok, kind of like little clips of my month so far. And I don't know, I've just been thinking back on this month and like how it's been one of the best Januaries I've had in a long time, even though, you know, things are still not quite where I want them to be in life. Um, I just feel like I've really taken time to like focus in on myself, putting energy into myself, what I want, habits that I know will make me feel good. I just feel like I've really been leaning into the whole like January as a month to focus on yourself, kind of like the hibernation era 
thing. Um, if you follow Mary Skinner on TikTok, she made a video about that. I just thought that was really a good outlook to have. It's like this month coming off of the craziness of the holidays and focusing on other people and going a million miles an hour. And then suddenly it's like, nothing's really going on. People are staying in more, it's winter. People aren't drinking as much. Just kind of slowing down, focusing on your goals for the new year and just kind of like hibernating and doing all the best things for yourself to set yourself up for success for the rest of the year and feel your best. I've been really liking leaning into that energy this month and I haven't had that like negative thought spiral that's plagued me in the past. I never I haven't felt that like January blues I kind of mentioned with the weather earlier this week. It really just hasn't hit me like it has in the past. And I think like focusing on these kind of like day to day routines, habits, um, you know, doing what makes me feel good, exercise, cooking new meals, things like that, like that kind of hibernation of just like focusing my energy on me, what makes me feel good and making it a good month that way has like helped me a lot. And not the cutest serving together because I put them in two separate bowls, but I have the salmon on rice. It makes it look more boring when it's all separate, but I put more of the honey garlic seasoning on top. And then this is the salad thing. Um, I'm excited, yeah. Starting off our Thursday morning with a workout, headed down to the gym to do an upper body day. Let's get it. really exciting package from cuts I've heard about them for a while and they're supposed to have really nice like staples t-shirts tank tops just kind of like layering pieces good quality basics and I feel like I always kind of like go through white t-shirts and never have just like one that I rely on so I'm really excited to try these out they sent me this, let's see what they're called. So this is the Crew T Slim Cropped. This one's in cream. There's also a chocolate brown one. And then this chocolate brown shirt is a little bit different. It's like a longer baggier one, so not slim. And this tank top, which is the rib tank in black. So very excited about these. I've been trying to incorporate a little bit more chocolate brown into my wardrobe. So this is great. Thank you cuts. I'll have to try them on and let you guys know what I think. Hi guys, <laughs> jump scare with my makeup not blended into my face. But hello, it is Friday today and the week has just <laughs> taken a turn. Ugh, I'm just like feeling in a funk again. Um, I basically didn't film the rest of my day yesterday after my workout. Once I got back to my apartment, I showered, I made some lunch, I was sitting down to lunch when I saw I had an email and it was an email notifying me that they went with another candidate for the job that I genuinely like actually 100% believed that I was gonna get and it was gonna be such a great blah 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 like the millionth time I've been through this and I just like had a bit of a breaking point. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to get that much into it. I almost filmed yesterday talking about it, but then I was just like, you know what? Like this is so ugh, depressing. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I, that's all I talk about. And you guys don't need to hear my disappointing monologue for like the 50th time in a row. I also know that there's so many people who are like struggling with this right now in the sense of like, there's a lot of layoffs happening. A lot of people like unexpectedly losing their jobs, which I realize mine was not unexpected but the um, process of getting a new one has been unexpectedly painful this time around. Going through rounds of interviews and feeling really confident and you know, picturing this being the perfect next step, blah, 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 every single time. I've just been really, really optimistic. I even talked about that last week in my vlog and I've just been in such a good place this month and just like I felt that it was this thing right around the corner 
and things were about to take a turn and then getting that news I was like here we are again I'm no stranger to rejection it's a very consistent part of my life these days so it wasn't even that like I've been rejected from a million things before but it was just like the level of investment that I had in this one and I don't know I think I got I let myself get to the point of like investing all of my if when this works out then I'll be able to like be so happy and do all these things and things will fall into place and this makes sense for my path and blah 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 it's just hard when like you know that you're absolutely more than qualified and that you could do so good at this job and ugh, I literally like did a double take when I read the email and I was like so close to responding being like are you sure you didn't make a mistake just kidding i would never actually do that um but you know what that feeling when you're just like did you really think through this like are you sure <laughs> even though i know they're sure and there's a million people that are just as good if not better than me clearly i know it's like not a reflection of me hopefully it's just so competitive so i'm not saying this and going on this whole monologue that i told myself i wasn't going to go on um to like get sympathy or but i'm just saying this if you're going through the same thing I just I think it's just the feeling of like feeling like you were so close to something and then nothing I feel like I put so much of my energy especially and I've been trying to not talk about it as much so I feel like I haven't maybe shared that much but I've been putting a lot of time and energy into this the last few weeks I feel like I just need to kind of step back for a moment and so that's what I'm getting at is today I told myself like part of me yesterday when I got that like went on a little bit of rampage not rampage but just like going through all my job sites again and like second looking at postings that i had kind of dismissed before and just like wanting to put all my energy into that but i think today it's better if i honestly just like step back for a minute and not think about it today so i'm just letting myself live my life and focus on things outside of job stuff which it might seem like i've already been doing a lot of um but i promise that behind the scenes i've been very <laughs> involved in this i feel like i just really need to focus more on my other goals outside of getting a job like not that i'm not going to keep trying because obviously i am so i'm not really sure where i'm going to go today but i think i might go on just like a little mini solo adventure somewhere in the city just to kind of like get out of the headspace i started a couple new books i also finished the year of magical thinking yesterday which i think maybe also put me in the headspace to like be even more emotional <laughs> somehow even though it was a very different concept but uh, by Joan Didion. She wrote a book, basically like kind of her recollection of grief when she lost her husband and her daughter within I think a couple years of each other. I feel like it really put you in the thick of it with her because she wrote it like within the year after that and just like the little details and aspects of grief. I don't know, I cried. Um, but it was a good book. So I finished that. I'm pretty sure it was in this vlog that I literally said um, I don't want to be reading Colleen Hoover, but I started a Colleen Hoover book. This is just because I read the first one a couple years ago when everyone else did. I just don't love her writing, but because I've already read the first one, I feel like I should just read the sequel. It's an easy read. So I started It Ends With Us, or It Starts With Us. Started It Starts With Us, which is the sequel to It Ends With Us. And I feel like she writes men so unrealistically, but you know, it's pretty much what I expected. But like I said, easy read. So I also started a reading page, like a to be read list on Notion and also kind of like keeping track of what I have read this year because I don't usually do that. I know people like Goodreads because it's a social thing. So I keep saying that I'm gonna make a Goodreads and I just feel like I don't keep up enough to do that but maybe i will and i signed up for an event tonight with a couple of my friends it's kind of cheesy <laughs> but it's also something that we've done in the past we basically in 2021 um we joined two kickball leagues if you remember those vlogs and we did it through volo sports which is like um i don't know just like a public league that does a bunch of different sports but also other competitions um in different cities so we joined the new york one this isn't that though we're not signing up for another league um but they still email us constantly and volo is very much like a cheesy colleague group team sport thing but it's also such a great way to meet people in a city i totally recommend that and i had so much fun with kickball and i don't regret it and they said that they're doing a free event tonight and we've been talking about doing another league but doing something different like they have bar games so they're doing a free event tonight in long island city at one of their new venues it looks like a really cool like big sports bar called game house we decided to say f it and sign up for that so that'll be fun maybe make some new friends do something different um just kind of like mix up our friday nights this is also a goal of mine in 2023 is just like kind of 
get out there, um, do some maybe cheesy events, go to some classes, things like that. So we're going to that tonight. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I feel like I just need to like divert my focus and energy. Think about the bigger picture. There's more to life than your career. Uh, believe it or not. Also tomorrow, I'm so excited. I signed up for a soul cycle class with Michelle. She's a YouTuber and Michelle Duflock. She and her sister have a channel and I haven't seen her, I think since last summer. We're gonna go to soul cycle together and get coffee and just catch up because that's also one of my other goals was just like reconnecting with friends that I maybe don't see as much. Now that it's almost the end of January, which is crazy and I feel like I just made my goals and just uploaded that whole video going over them and everything. I just wanna keep my eye on those things and make sure that I'm doing something every month to like work towards those in other ways and keep building up my life and putting my energy into other aspects of life besides the job thing. Anyway, that's where we're at. I was really hoping that this would be like the turning point good news, um, starting on a new foot, new job, February, all this stuff, and we are back at the search. Again, I really don't share this stuff to like get sympathy or make anyone feel bad for me. Like, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, my life is not any different for losing out on that. Like I'm back at the same point that I was before I went through the whole process of that. But um, just if ever, anyone else is going through it, hopefully this makes you feel a little less alone and I share your pain. <laughs> okay friends, it is now later. Um, I didn't end up actually going anywhere because I got an email for something that I needed to do. Um, so that took up some time and then I was like, you know what? I'm already just here and I thought it was gonna rain for a bit. So I was like, whatever, I'm just staying here. So um, yeah, I got some work done. Didn't end up doing anything like fun for the afternoon, but whatever, cause we're going to do something fun tonight. We're going to the like bar games night. Oh shit, I shouldn't have been talking while I was doing that. Am I stupid? And God knows I'm terrible at bar games besides like, I'm good at skee ball and that's one of them. I actually don't know. Good is a strong word. I enjoy skee ball. I'm just like not very good at most things that require coordination. I'm going to meet my friends in Greenpoint and then we're going to Long Island City together. I'm just wearing comfy clothes, leggings, leggings and a long sleeve, and I'm just gonna wear boots, heavy coat because it's cold outside, I think. Yeah, and I'll just take it off when we get there. Okay, let's go be terrible at bar games. <laughs>